Hi. Today is a Tuesday. And I had said I was going to do some analysis on chapter 5 and then uh, talk about it. But this is just reading. This is not analysis. So I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to go on to Revelation chapter 10 and probably do 11 and 12 as well. <clears throat> Then I saw another powerful angel descending from heaven, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun and his legs were like pillars of fire. He held his hand a little he held in his hand a little scroll that was open and he put his right foot on the sea and his left on land. Go back. Chapter 10. Verse one, then I saw another powerful angel, powerful, descending from the heaven. So you are coming down from the heaven, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. Wait a minute. When Jesus came out of the water, when he was baptized, wasn't there a rainbow? Mark? One, nine. Anyway, let me go back. Ch Revelations chapter 10, verse 1. Then I saw another powerful angel descending from heaven, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun and his legs were like pillars of fire. He held in his hand a little scroll that was open and he put his right foot on the sea and his left on the land. Then he shouted in a loud voice like a lion roaring. And when he shouted, the seven thunders sounded their voices. When the seven thunders spoke, I was preparing to write. But just then I heard a voice from heaven say, seal up what the seven, what the seven thunders spoke. And do not write it. Seal up what the uh, um, verse four, chapter ten, verse four b. It says, "Seal up what the seven, seven thunders spoke, and do not write it down." Then the angels I saw standing on the sea, and on the land, raised their right hand to heaven and swore by the one who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and earth, isn't it? And the earth, wait, and swore by the one who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and what is in it. And the earth and what is in it, and the sea and what is in it. There will be no more delay. But in those days when the seventh angel is about to blow his trumpet, the mystery of God is completed just as, his pro as has proclaimed to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice I had heard from heaven began to speak to me. Go and take the open scroll on the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land, an angel. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. Give it to me, hey. And he said to me, take the scroll and eat it. I will make your stomach bitter, but it will be as sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it and it did not taste as sweet as honey in my mouth but when I had eaten it my stomach became bitter then they told me you must prophesy again about many people's nations languages and kings I need the scroll to stop me eating especially these sweet things I crave for amen I mean, healthy eating, not starving, even though we're going into Lent fast, right? Okay, let's go on. Uh, chapter 11. Then a measuring rod like a staff, Moses, was given to me, and I was told. Then a measuring rod like a staff was given to me, and I was told, get up and measure the temple of God and the altar and the ones who worship there. But do not measure the outer courtyard of the temple. Leave it out because it has been given to the Gentiles and they will trample on the holy city 42 days. And I will grant my two witnesses authority to prophesy for 1,260 days dressed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to hear them, Fire comes out of their mouths 
and completely consume their enemies. If anyone wants to harm them, they must be killed to the sway. These two have the power to close up the sky so that it does not rain during the time that they prophesy, that they are prophesying. They have put power to turn the waters to blood and to strike the earth where, with every kind of plague whenever they want. When they have completed their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpse will lie in the street of the great city that is symbolically called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was cru also crucified. For three and a half days, those from every people, tribe, nation, and language will look at their corpse because they will not permit them to be placed in a tomb. And those who live on the earth will rejoice over them and celebrate even sending gifts to each other because these two prophets had tormented those who live on earth. But after three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet and tremendous fear seized those who were watching them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying, come up here. So the two prophets went up to heaven on a cloud while the enemies stared at them. Just then a major earthquake took place on the 10th of the city and then and a 10th of the city collapsed. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second war has come and God, the third is coming quickly. The seven trumpets, so we're on verse 15. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet and there were loud voices in heaven saying, the kingdom of the world has become, has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ and he will reign forever and ever. Then the 24 elders who are seated on their thrones before God threw themselves down with their faces to the ground and worshiped God with these words. We give you thanks, Lord God, the all-powerful, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations are were enraged, but your wrath has come, and the time has come for the dead to be judged, and the time has come to give to your servants, the prophets, their rewards, as well as the saints, and to those who revere your name. But small and great, both small and great, and the times has come and the time has come to destroy those who destroy the earth then the temple of god in heaven was opened and the ark of his covenant was visible without his temple and there were flashes of lightning roaring crashes of thunder an earthquake and a great hailstorm Chapter 12, then a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with sun and the moon under her feet. And on her head was a crown of 12 stars. She was pregnant and was screaming in labor, struggling to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, a huge red dragon that had seven heads and 10 horns and on its heads were seven day damn crowns. Now the dragon's tail swept away a third of the stars in heaven and hurled them into the earth. Then the dragon stood before the worm, the woman who was about to give birth so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. So the woman gave birth to a son, a male child, who is going to rule over all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was suddenly caught up to God and to his throne and she fled into the wilderness where a place had been prepared for her by God so she could take care of the 1260 days okay so verse 5 says so the woman gave birth to a son, a male child, who is going to rule over all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was suddenly caught up to God 
and to his throne and she fled into the wilderness where a place had been prepared for her by God so she could be be taken care of for a thousand two hundred and sixty days then war broke out in heaven Michael and his angels fought over the dragon fought against the dragon that's more like it and the dragon and his angels fought back but the dragon was not strong enough to prevail so there was no longer any place left in heaven for him and his angels so that huge dragon the ancient serpent the one called the devil and Satan who deceived the whole world was thrown down to earth and his angels along with him then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the ruling authority of his Christ have now come because of the because the accuser of our brothers and sisters the one who accuses them today and accuses them day and night before God has been thrown down but they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. And, and they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die therefore you you heavens rejoice and all who reside in them but woe to the earth and the sea because the devil was has come down to you i know he is filled with terrible anger for he knows that he only has a little time now when the dragon realized that he had been thrown down to earth he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child but the woman was given two wings of a giant eagle so that she could fly out into the wilderness to the place god prepared for her where she is taken care of away from the presence of the serpent for a time for a time times and half a time then the servant sprouted water like a river out of his mouth after the woman in an attempt to sweep her away by a flood but the earth came to her rescue and the ground opened and swallowed the river that the dragon had spewed from his mouth so the dragon began became enraged at the woman and went away to make war on the rest of her children those who keep god's commandments and hold to the testimony about jesus and the dragon stood on the sand of the seashore. Chapter 13 Then I saw a beast coming out, out of the sea. It had ten horns and seven heads. And its horns were ten diadem crowns. And on its head a blasphemous name. Now the beast that I saw was like a leopard. But its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. The dragon gave the beast his power, his throne, and great authority to rule. One of the beast's heads appeared to have killed, but the lethal wound had been healed. One of the beast's heads appeared to have been killed, but the lethal wound had been healed. And the whole world followed the beast in amazement. They worshipped the dragon because they had he had given ruling authority to the beast and they worshiped the beast to saying who is like their beast and who is able to make war against him the beast was given a mouth speaking proud given a mouth speaking proud words and blasphemies and he was permitted to exercise during exercise ruling authority for 42 months so the beast opened his mouth to blaspheme against God, to blaspheme both his name and his dwelling place, that is, those who dwell in heaven. The beast was permitted to go to war against the saints and conquer them. He was given ruling authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. All those who live on the earth will worship the beast. Everyone who lives has not. Excuse me. Verse 8. And all those who live on the earth will worship the beast. Everyone whose name has not been written since the foundation of the world in the book of life belonging to the lamb who was killed. If anyone has here, he had better listen. 
If anyone is meant for captivity, into captivity he will go. If anyone is to be killed by the sword, then the sword he must be killed. This requires steadfast endurance and faith from saints. When I saw another beast coming up from the earth, oh my goodness, these beasts. When I saw another beast coming out of the earth, now I've lost my, my place. Then I saw another beast coming out of the earth. He had to know I've read that part. Have I finished and gone to another chapter yet? Oh, I just lost track of it. Oh my goodness, lost it. I'm gonna go to 11, I've lost, I lost my train of thoughts. Then I saw another beast coming up from the earth. He had two horns like a lamp, but was speaking like a dragon. He exercised all the ruling authority of the first beast on his behalf and made the earth and those who inhabit it worship the first beast, the one whose lethal weapon he had healed. He formed momentous signs, even making fire come down from heaven to earth in front of people. And by the signs he was permitted to perform on behalf of the beast, he deceived those who live on earth. He told those who live on earth to make an image to the beast who had been wounded by the sword but still lived. The second beast was empowered to give life to the image of the first beast so that it could speak and could cause all those who did not worship the image the beast to be the image of the beast to be killed. He also caused everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to obtain a mark on the right hand or on the forehead. Thus no one was allowed to buy or sell things unless he bore the mark of the beast. That is his name or his number. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has insight calculate the beast's number, for its man's for it is man's number, and his number is six, six, six. I'm gonna stop here and then continue with the next batch.